Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about weapon swapping and the two methods you can use to accomplish it. Basically the coding is pretty much the same, it's only the way the sprites are drawn that changes everything. So there are two ways you can accomplish this. Firstly, you could draw the weapon and the player as a single entity, so one sprite, and then when the player um, uses the mouse wheel to change the sprites, it just changes the complete character model every time, it switches through them. And then there's method two, where you have a single player entity and a single uh, weapon entity, two entities, one drawn on top of the other, and then um, the weapon sprite just follows the player sprite around. Um, they both have pros and cons. For example, the first one, you'd have to redraw every single player sprite with every single gun. That could be um, pretty laborious, a lot of sprites to be drawn. However, the second method, if you have fast moving objects that the view follows, you might notice that the, the weapon sprite, which is below the object sprite, the player sprite, will kind of lag behind a little, depending on the order drawn. So you may notice a slight lag. Um, it all depends on what you're trying to accomplish, and you just got to choose a method. So if, I'm going to go over both methods. First, we're going to start with the single player uh, entity, and then after which we'll go to the two entities, one drawn on top of the other. So let's go right into this here. So firstly, I have the HUDs. This is the HUD. It's going to show us what weapon we currently have. Yeah, I've got some little you know, little guns there. It looks really cool. That'll tell the player what they are using currently. And then method one. See, method one, I have four separate player sprites, each having... See, they each got a different weapon. In this case, we have a shotgun. Then we've got an auto rifle and an SMG and lastly dual pistols. Now basically what we're going to do is we're going to have a variable we're going to assign it to zero in the beginning, initialize it to zero and then when the player scrolls the mouse up that is going to increment to one and two and three etc and if they scroll down it's going to decrement, it's going to go down by one and basically we're going to tell the, the program to draw a sprite depending on the number of that variable so let's jump right into it, let's go to object player right up here in create, basically right now I've just got the code that makes him look towards the mouse and do some basic um, basic movement. Okay, so let's make a variable here and we're gonna, we're gonna call it weapon. And we're gonna set it to zero. And my plan is to have the dual pistols as zero, then it's gonna go to the SMG, then the shotgun over there, that's gonna be number two, so it's zero, one, two, and then the AK-47 auto rifle here is going to be number three. So and that's in the create, there we've got weapon equals zero. So when we start off, he's going to have the dual pistols, and the HUD's going to show dual pistols, and that's going to be excellent. So now, what we're going to do in the step here, we need to tell it to set the sprite. So for example, we're going to have a switch, and we're going to switch it on weapon, and basically here we're going to say, well, if weapon is zero, do something, and then carry on doing all that. So when weapon is zero, then the sprite index. So the index of our player sprite is going to equal sprite player and then uh, dual pistols. Okay, so we're going to copy this another three times. One, two, three. Make that one, two, three. I'm starting at zero because um, later on I want to add arrays to this. It's going to be a completely different tutorial and arrays start at zero so it'll be a lot less work. Um, the second one was SMG. Then we had shotgun. And lastly, I think it was auto rifle. There we go. Okay. Now we can do the, the mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down code. Mouse, uh, mouse wheel up, mouse, mouse wheel down. So we want it to cycle. If the player scrolls up and it gets to three, which is the last uh, image, we want it to go back to zero and then continue in a, in a big circle, a cycle. And it's going to be the same when, um, if, when the mouse wheel is scrolled in the opposite direction. So we want to make sure that that happens, and we never get to a weapon. Or we know the weapon variable never gets to um, like four. It'll never get to the value four. It'll either be zero, one, two, or three. So here we go. So this is the mouse wheel up, and basically we're going to say here: if weapon is less than three, then we can increment it because there's more than enough space. Else, so if it is three, then we're going to say, well weapons equal to zero. Back to number zero, see? And um, the wheel down is going to be pretty much the same code, only the difference here is going to be greater than zero. As long as it's greater than zero, we can go down. Otherwise, it's going to be equal to three. See? Pretty simple. 
Okay, so we've got the create, we've got the changing, the way to change that variable. We've got this to set the sprite index depending on the weapon. And then now we just need a draw. And here we're just going to say uh, draw self. Because that'll have all, all the sprite index, image index, image angle, all that stuff that it needs are all in there. And then lastly, object HUD. Um, so I'm going to set this as a draw GUI, GUI and then. Um, this is going to have similar code to the step over here. Basically, we want this to check out object player dot weapon, and then set its sprite index to instead of sprite player, it's going to be HUD. Change this all to HUD. There we go. All right. So there, that's pretty much it. That's very, very, very simple. Make sure in our room we have the HUD, we've got our player. So when you scroll up, the entire sprite um, index will change to one of these four. And um, if you notice over here, for example, I've got a little green cross. That's just to make sure where the origin is of the circle, not of the entire um, sprites. So if we look at that, there's the origin. But because each one of these have a different length and width, we want the origin to be exactly the same on all of them. Notice that. Okay, so let's test this out. Okay, so we start off with the pistols. Scroll up. There we go. Go to the next thing, SMG. Scroll up again. Shotgun. Again, AK. And now it should go back to pistols. There we go. See? Scrolling. If you scroll down, pistols goes down to AK, which goes down to. Oh, what? Hmm. Something's wrong. Let's go back to player here. Let's scroll wheel down. Weapon is greater than three. Oh, whoops. Greater than three. This is going to be greater than naught. I think that's correct. Up. Yeah. There we go. Sorry. Um, mouse wheel down, correct that. If weapon is greater than zero, then go um, down. Okay, let's go back and test that out again. Okay, so scrolling down from pistols goes to AK, goes down to shotgun, goes down to SMG, back to pistols. And you're scrolling up, see? It's always scrolling as we move. And um, it's all one entity, so nothing will lag behind the rest because it's all one thing. So that is method number one. Now method number two is a little, more com a little bit more complicated, but uh, it could be a little bit more rewarding if you don't have a lot of stuff flying around really, 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 really fast. So let's close method one, let's open method two. Method two, I have one player object, or sprite. He has no guns, it's just like a head with his glasses and everything. And then here we have the separate sprite entities of the different weapons. Notice there's the SMG, there are the dual pistols, they're just hands, pretty much. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw the weapon, then we're going to draw the player on top of it, and there we go. So let's do that now. And uh, the only changes here, I mean, uh, the mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down code is the same, as you know, that's all good. Um, the create code is the same, weapon equals zero, we need that. We need that. The only difference is here, this, we're going to cut this out over there, because remember, he is getting a singular player object, so he's not changing when we scroll up and scroll down. Now we go to the draw. A lot's going to change here in the draw. Instead of just drawing self, we are going to do a switch on the weapons, and then we're going to create a variable here called the uh, it's called sprite gun, SPR gun, um, and it's going to. Well, let's change this to gun sprite. Otherwise, we might get confused with one of our sprites later on. Um, gun sprite equals these things, okay. Now, it's not player. I think I've set it to sprite gun. Let's change these to gun, because we just want the hands. We don't want the player and hand entity. We just want the separate gun. So basically, when this sprite starts, it's going to give this object, the sprite player, and then it's just going to draw something else. So here we're checking out which gun we need to draw. So first we draw um, the gun. Alright, so we first check in which gun to draw. Then here we say draw sprite extended. And then the sprite is going to be gun SPR. And then all this stuff is going to be the same. Uh, image index. We just wanted to grab all the defaults X, Y, 
scale one one rotation image angle I want it to have the same image angle as the sprite object um, then color is C white and alpha is one All right. so it's going to draw the weapon then it's going to draw the player the weapon will be underneath the player and it will be in the same X and Y notice over here for the guns they all have the same you know origin as this 56 58 or 57 whatever it's around there it's around that same origin just so that um, it'll look perfect it'll look like it's supposed to go where it is otherwise it'll be far too back or whatever um, okay good 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 so that's done now that should all work the same as long as you got sprite player and then it'll draw the guns depending on the value of weapon which we are changing in the up and down scroll wheel so hopefully this all goes well let's try it out and that has the same code because that relies on weapon okay so here we scroll up it's doing the same thing all the same but the only difference here is the player is drawn on top of the arms which have the gun see pretty cool now I've noticed in some of the games I've worked on um, if the view is following your player and you're moving around really quickly sometimes the sprite you're drawing on the bottom will kind of lag a bit behind like a pixel or two um, it may not you know, you may not notice it that much, but sometimes it can get a bit unbearable. So you need to choose, you know, you've got to decide how much work you're going to put into it and which method you want to go for. But, um, yeah, that is weapon switching. Now, at a later stage, I want to go over arrays, because I haven't actually formally gone over arrays with you guys yet. And to do so, I'm going to be using this tutorial again. And um, we can use an array, which is like a list to store a whole lot of information upon you know, of each weapon, like the name, the ammo, the max ammo, um, the reload speed, the weapon speed, all that stuff. And then we're going to use it to switch through that array as we switch the gun. And then, you know, it's going to shoot bullets and stuff depending on what the array says. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. I look forward to your feedback. Tell your friends, and I'll see you guys next time.